Poor decimation in the developing world influences how governments of these countries allocate limited resources to create policies and conduct research. Neil Jean et al. claim in their paper that they have developed a method for detecting and predicting poverty by using machine learning and combining satellite imagery. How can we measure levels of economic activity in bad geographical areas? One possibility is looking at the nighttime luminosity intensity. There is a correlation between satellite nightlight intensity imaging in these areas and their levels of economic activities. However, the authors observed that the nightlight method per se is unable to detect economic activity in regions that are below the international poverty line. Commonly, governments depend on service to gather economic measurements and take actions. But applying this service is not simple and they are very costly. Here is where the method proposed by the authors comes in. They propose a machine learning approach based on the technique of transfer learning that promised to resolve this drawback and offers a greater prediction accuracy than solely considering luminosity intensity. They claim their method for predicting poverty is accurate, inexpensive, and scalable. How do they achieve such predictive power? By combining SORI and satellite data, where a convolutional neural network, or CNN, can be trained to differentiate features on daylight satellite images. In their study, they considered four African developing countries and the granularity of the data that they are estimating is at the household level. What their method consists of? It involves three phases. Phase one, they train the CNN to learn features from daylight satellite imagery. These features are, for instance, evidence of economic activity or lack of, such as urban areas, non-urban areas, water and roads. Phase two takes advantage of the knowledge gained in phase one, and the CNN is adapted to be trained to estimate the nightlight intensities. Phase three involves combining the economic survey data and image features extracted by the CNN from the daylight imagery to train regression models able to estimate the poverty indicators that they are considering. The authors claim that their transfer learning model can predict their poverty indicators with high accuracy. What are those indicators? They handle two, and they are consumption expenditure and asset wealth, where they claim having achieved a variability explanation of 55 and 59% respectively. In my opinion, this paper presents an enhanced, accurate, and affordable technique that the governments and organizations around the world can use to track and target poverty in developing countries to take mitigative actions. It demonstrates how powerful machine learning can be to help improving living conditions of the people. Thank you.